in this we're going to be bringing you another Super Sentai toy review, so let's get started. Henshin! Alright, so this we'll be doing the Super Sentai Q Uger DX Giga Gobble Revolver. And this is the show that aired from 2013 to 2014. And this is something I've been wanting to get for the longest time, but the price was just not right for me. I lagged it when, it, when, it, when the show was airing and it was coming out. And after that, this was just a very hot toy, just because who, uh, because of the character who used it, and also because of the really awesome colors on this Gobble Revolver. Compared to the yellow, regular yellow, um, black, and uh, red a little bit, a lot of people prefer this color, and honestly, I really do love this color. I'll talk to you about the price range and where, uh, how I got it after towards the end of the video. So, uh, like I said, this is from the show Q U J, and this uh, this belongs to uh, Q U Silva, and um, there's a roll call for him like, when he when he uh, when he transforms as the shining brave Q U J Silva, and that's really cool. So uh, I think uh, the I think the I think the character that uses this is the White Scott Turin. I think that's his name. I'm I'm, I'm wrong. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm pronouncing it. So he uh, he uh, he uses this towards the middle of the show, towards the end. Yeah. So um, like I said, it's, this is something I really wanted to get for the longest. It's a really hot toy. It, the show, like I said, it's from 2013, 14, and it's still pretty hard to find. And if you do, it's not cheap. Um, so, uh, like I said, I'll tell you price range and everything afterwards. So, let's test this baby out. Now, mine is used because, like I said, it's a very ex hot toy. Brand new. costs a lot. So, uh, pretty much this is the same just like uh, the Qager, you know, Revolver on and off switch is back here. And the LED lights are right here. So, you turn it on. I want to show the, the battery. And um, this is a DX version. So... It's bro you know, right there. You see the name in the back. It actually says Brog Yes, and you can. Oh, it's funny how you can always tell the difference between the regular one and the DX one. The I guess it's like I guess the paint wise, and maybe the plastic is a little bit different. But you can tell right here it's kind of like really shiny gold, and the sticker also is kind of like a little bit more holographic sticker compared to the regular one. So that's just you know the DX one. All right, so let's test. So just there, so let's uh, shoot it. And it has the same sound effects just as the Gobble Reward. The only the difference it has is when he does the Henshin, you know, transportation, transforming, that uh, he actually, it's a little bit different. So uh, you guys want to do this, let's do this. So pretty much, like I said, the switch is, am I here? Brave in. And that's our second time hearing that, and that is, I love that sound effect. So that's it for that. So, uh, again, so, you know, pretty much. So pretty much if you put another um, battery in here, it just, you know, just triggers the same effects as a Gobble Revolver. So if you guys want to see this combined with the, to make this with the sword, we can do that actually. Let me just. <clears throat> so again, it has the same connections and everything like this. So let's combine this. Yeah, pretty much, is it like I said, the same. You just put it here. Oh wait, I forgot I have to open this. And let's see. And that's it with that. Like, see, it's pretty much the same as the Gobble Revolver. Uh, you know, it's everything is the same. It's the different. It's just the paint wise, and that one sound it makes when he does the engine when he transforms. Out of that, it's the same design. So yeah. So that's pretty much it of the whole review for the DX Gobble Revolver. So in the end, it's 
just like the Giga, Giga Reward, you know, the difference is that it's paint-wise and it has the henchin, so it says Giga Go Reward. But uh, that's that's about it about this. Um, now the price range it goes up from ninety to one hundred and fifty, brand new or used in box. I got mine used. So mine was used, and I actually got mine for I traded mine. <clears throat> I got mine through a trade actually. So um, it was uh, one of my items that I had that I traded for. It was around a couple of months ago. It was around July when I traded, and it was for uh, I traded it with someone that I knew at a, it was a anime expo in los angeles and um that's the only way i got in it because i wouldn't for me to save money i like i said i have to pay over 90 to uh, 160 and that's just too much for an item that's pretty much the same paint wise you know just a little bit different sound effects but still for me because i'm a fan of it but I just didn't want to break my wallet i wanted to get this so for you guys who really want to get this it, um if you find it for a really good price it's a must have only if you're a fan of the show and you're a fan of uh, QU Silver, especially. But it's a really cool paint wise. And, you know, I do love the paint. The paint is more. I like the paint compared to the regular Lava Revolver. So the paint wise, I like it more. So you're a fan of the show and you want to get both of these. Um, it's a must have, but you, I must warn you, the price is pretty high. And this is one of the hot items that the price is probably never going to drop. Maybe a couple years more, but. It's just if you find it for a really low price, I definitely get it. But other than that, I have to say it's a pass. Only if you're a fan like me, I am a fan of the show and I am a fan of this this character. So that's why I got it. But if you just want to get any of the weapons, just the regular, the rewarder, then just get the regular one. Because it doesn't really change anything of it. It's still the, the same size, sound, just a little, one sound henchin and the naming of the when they activates it but all that's pretty much the same thing so um so like i said if you're a big fan get it but if you're if you're just a regular fan it's a pass because like it's a very expensive item so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video this is mr Pushido signing out at k writer ignition news will be in the latest to the oldest of common writers super Sentai anime and comic book toby and also catch a little monsters aka kaiju keep collecting